rush hour. People strolling through the alleys. Bringing the city to life. Typical for Regensburg. But there are some people who should be put under the spotlight. a.m., beginning of the 24-hour shift for station crew 3 of the Regensburg Fire Department. Maximilian Lanzmann, officer of the day, is checking the attendance and assigns the crew to their respective vehicles. Engine 1, unit leader Oberndorfer, engine operator Hauber, attack squad Meiler and Fuchs, water squad Lena and Zollner. Afterwards, each crew checks their tools for completeness and correct functionality. After all, the next alarm can come any time and then everything has to work perfectly. The examination of the BA sets is of particular importance. I'm checking whether the pressure is okay, or if the whole equipment in general is in order, if the residual air channels work properly, and that everything that is safety related is alright. These BA sets provide firefighters with oxygen, for example, when they find themselves in rooms filled with smoke, a malfunction could be life-threatening. Meanwhile, another member of the crew is examining the water pump of one of the fire engines. Now I'm checking the condition of the pump. Then I'll make a dry suction test and look if the water level in the tank is okay. Afterwards, the firefighters brush up their knowledge in small groups. How to see leaks correctly, how to behave in medical emergencies, these are but a few examples for such short practice lessons. 9 a.m., a 20-minute break for the man of the Regensburg Fire Department. The members use the opportunity to exchange views with their other colleagues or to take a small meal. At the moment, everything is calm and serene, but with each passing minute, the alarm bell might go off. Then it's time to be fast. Within just 60 seconds, they have to leave the station and arrive at any location in the city within 10 minutes at the most. Sometimes, that's not an easy task for the only professional fire department in Regensburg. A rubbish bin having caught fire was reported in the west of the city. With flashing lights and sirens, Engine 2 is deployed to the scene. In order to get there as fast as possible, the control center at the station can switch all traffic lights en route to green. After arriving on scene, and a short investigation by the unit leader, it's clear that they aren't needed anymore. The small fire had already been put out by a plant fire department, which is located just a few hundred feet away. Having handed over the scene to the police for further investigation, Engine 2 is heading back towards the station. There are some rescue exercises waiting for the man of the Ringsburg fire department, including a water rescue exercise on the Danube, where someone has to be rescued onto a fireboat. Here we have to make sure that we never lose sight of the person in the water and then we always go downstream. There we have to avoid causing too many waves because it would just make it harder for the drowning person to fight them. During the trip they throw a life belt to the alleged victim. Then the boat returns and approaches the person to heave him into safety. 
Meanwhile at the station's yard, the High Altitude Rescue Group exercises saving a person from a high altitude. With the help of a so-called tripod, both the basket stretcher and a high altitude rescuer are lowered via rope to the casualty to pick him up. The other members of the rescue group secure both the rescuer and the victim. 12 a.m. lunchtime. Once again the men of the fire department gather in the common rooms. Pancake soup with pasta is next on the agenda. During the week the meals are delivered. On the weekend they have to cook for themselves. One hour time of rest and recreation until work goes on. In the newly built part of the station, the Integrated Emergency Services Control Center is located. It's responsible for fire and EMS in the city of Regensburg, as well as the surrounding counties of Regensburg, Kham and Neumarkt, and can be reached by calling the European Standard Emergency Phone Number 112. The center has to answer about 150,000 emergency calls and coordinate more than 90,000 emergency operations each year. Fire and Rescue Services, hello. Hello, Mr. Huber. What's your emergency? Where is that exactly? And what precisely is on fire? In Regensburg, Lancet Street. What's the house number? 58. How many people are in the building? Take your boy with you right away and wait in front of the house to brief the firefighters upon arrival. Get all residents out of the house. We're on our way. Goodbye. A room fire in the east of the city has been reported. A whole convoy of different fire engines leaves the station. As soon as they leave the station, the attack squad puts on their BAs to save time that is needed at the emergency scene. It's often seconds that count. The fire is on the second floor of an apartment building. Equipped with hoses and a fire extinguisher, the firemen enter the building. Within a short period of time, the fire is located and put out. The situation is under control. A couch caught fire, probably caused by a cigarette. It's removed from the apartment and a high pressure fan is set up at the entrance to get rid of the remaining smoke. After a few minutes of cleaning up the scene, the firemen return to the station. Once based at Hyde Plaza and later on at Neupfarrplatz, today's fire department isn't limited just to the operational departments, but of course has other branches as well. For example, administration and computer applications. So we have now we also have different workshops, from the electric and BA workshop to the paint shop and the carpentry shop. This is where the crew is normally stationed when there's no alarm. Thus outsourcing is necessary. After all, only someone who has already learned a trade is admitted to the fire department. As the fleet of engines doesn't contain any special purpose vehicles, the Regensburg Fire Department relies on the so-called pelletized load system. So they're able to convert and adjust their engines for a wide range of uses. Being just a small fire department and out of financial reasons, we decided not to have single specialized trucks for certain operations. We rather focus on the pelletized load system. We have 14 modules, each of them stocked with very specialized equipment and three carrier trucks, which can pick up any of these modules. Depending on the emergency situation, the truck lifts a module and carries it to the scene. And these 14 containers are then wahlweise aufgesattelt and then to the scene. This used to be the monitoring center for Regensburg city and county. Today it's called service center. Here companies can have their fire detection system serviced. And this is also where each and every elevator alarm call from the city is answered. And then they're off again on the way to an emergency in the east of the city, 
this time to an elementary school. The caller informed the dispatcher that there was water running down from the ceiling. The technical rescue vehicle is dispatched. Because of the holiday season, the school premises are vacant, but the firefighters don't want to break the locked doors, so they deliberately set off the school's fire alarm system so that the key box for the main entrance is unlocked. With the fire alarm being set off, the command unit has to respond as well. A staff member of the municipal building department is waiting for them at the scene. As a first measure, the main valve is closed down before the officer in charge assesses the situation. The assumption that the source of the water is a broken water pipe under the ceiling proves to be wrong. The actual reason turns out to be quite harmless. Someone forgot to turn off the tap on the outside of the building so that the water ran into the basement. Subsequently, the crew of the technical rescue vehicle removes the water with a wet vacuum cleaner and the officer in charge resets the fire alarm. The firefighter's operation is done and they leave the scene. 4 p.m. Back at the station, it's time for one hour of sports, mandatory for the whole crew. Because of the nice weather, most of the firefighters choose football or running. In case of bad weather, both a fitness room and a gymnasium are available. At the same time in Ringsburg County, a rock climber has fallen down part of a Via Ferrata, hurt his back, and therefore hasn't been able to climb down on his own. The high altitude rescue group of the Regensburg Fire Department is dispatched. Saving a person from a high altitude, just practiced this morning, has become reality in the afternoon. After the EMS crew has provided the necessary medical care, the rescue group begins with arrangements to rope down the casualty. Not an easy task, for the rock face is rough and difficult to climb. But thanks to the experienced crew, the rescue operation succeeds without any problems. This also shows the good cooperation between the Regensburg Municipal Fire Department and the different volunteer fire departments from the adjoining counties. There have never been any problems. The collaboration with the fire department and the high altitude rescue group has proven excellent all across the board. 6 p.m. From now on until the end of the shift at 8 a.m. on the next morning, it's call on time for the men of the Regensburg Fire Department. After the evening meal, for which everyone is responsible on his own, the firefighters now have time to watch TV, read books and newspapers, sit down together with the others or just relax. From 10 p.m. on, it's normally night's rest for the whole crew, but not this time. A turntable ladder engine is dispatched to support a local volunteer fire department in southern Regensburg County. The roof truss of a 300-year-old building is ablaze. To prevent the fire from spreading onto the adjacent buildings, the firemen place their turntable ladder on the back side of the building. Another aerial ladder from Kielheim County is set on the front side to fight the flames. After more than two hours of permanent fire extinguishing, the fire is out and the operation is finished for the crew of Ladder Engine 3. Back at the station, everyone fell into their beds and was probably quite glad not to have another emergency until the next morning. Thus. Another stressful shift for the men of the Regensburg Municipal Fire Department comes to an end.